Hi everyone, today at the eCreators Academy, we're going to have a look at creating a password policy. So the scenario where this might be really useful is that you've come into your organisation and perhaps your IT department has a certain policy that is required. Or maybe you just want to improve the security within your site and therefore want to create a policy that all users, when they reset their password and when passwords are set for them, that they must match. So this password policy might be that the passwords need to be 16 characters long. Maybe they need to include an alphanumeric character, something like that. And you can set this up and customize it. So it might be simply copying what your IT department does at your particular workplace, or maybe it's setting your own password policy just for this particular site itself. So I'm going to jump into my LearnBook Moodle site now, and I'll show you how quickly and easily you can set one of these up. So on the left-hand menu bar, I'm going to expand the Administration tab. I'm going to go down to Site Administration. Within Site Administration, I'm just simply going to scroll down. So I'm on the main Site Administration tab up the top here. I'm going to scroll down to Security, to the Security section. And from here, I'll select Site Security Settings. Clicking on that takes me to a whole range of settings that you're welcome to have a look through. But in particular, for this example, I need to go down, probably about halfway down the page here, and you'll see a section there that says Password Policy. So by default, it is turned on, so we can choose whether we want to enable this or disable this, but I want to leave it ticked because I do want it turned on. And then in the fields below that, I need to specify, well, what is that policy going to be? So I can choose to change the length of my password. So I might say I want mine to be 16 um, characters long. How many digits would I like? So I might say I want two lowercase letters. It must have at least one, must have at least one uppercase letter. Maybe I want some alphanumeric characters as well, sorry, non-alphanumeric characters as well. And do I want to put any restrictions on the consecutive identical characters? So for example, I can't let a user, or maybe I don't want to let a user type 333 into that. They can only have maybe two identical characters, consecutive characters. And the last option here is the password rotation limit. So part of my security can also be that a user can't use the same password maybe out of the last three times. So they have to have three different passwords before they can go back and replicate one of the ones from the start. So, or reuse them again. So that's sort of what you can do with your password policy and the steps you can take to set it up. Um, the very last one is here, or the last two actually, just to quickly touch on, is the maximum time to validate your password reset requests. So when a user accesses your front page, so your login page, and they click forgot their password, it will send them a link if they are actually a registered user on the system. This is the time frame in which that link will remain active. So for example, if they don't go in and click that email, click the link on the email within five minutes, the link will deactivate and they would have to go through and repeat the process again. So it's just about adding a little bit extra security and giving you that flexibility to decide how tight you want this to be on your site. And the last one there is just whether or not you're going to log the users out of all their sessions upon a password change. So what this can do is, because potentially I could log on onto my laptop, I might be logged on on my desktop as well, and this basically means that when a password change has been made, it will log out of all sessions that user was on. And that can be really, really good if there's a security breach. Um, and because of that, the user is changing their password. Well, a password change will now mean that they'll be logged out from wherever they were in. So if someone did actually log in as them somewhere else, it will kick them out as well. Um, and it will help and improve that security of their site. So I hope that helps. We look forward to seeing you in some of our other videos.